Okay, so imagine this. You are in your workplace working on a deadline, and suddenly you realize you have missed some of the important files on your home computer. Or let's just say you are going out for a vacation and want to have 24/7 access to all the file stores on your computer. So, what is the best way to do that? Well, let's find out. Hi there. This is Mina once again and welcome to our TT video cast. So in this video we are going to see a very simple way to remotely access files on your computer. The only condition is your computer has to be turned on and connected to the internet all the time. Now I know there are other ways to do that, but the method that we are going to see here, well it is extremely simple, works on every platform and the best part is it is completely free. Though before we begin, let's take a look at some of the alternative methods. But if you're only interested in the specific tutorial part, then click on the timestamp appearing on the screen right now. However, I will highly recommend you spare some time and watch the entire video. You will have the complete understanding of what's going on in the market. So let's check them out. Okay, so the first thing that came to my mind was put the files on the cloud storage like Google Drive or Dropbox. But then it won't be possible to clone the entire hard drive, right? Now the second idea was to buy a dedicated NAS or a router with a remote access feature. Now the good thing about this is you don't have to keep the computer turned on all the time. But then again, this setup is quite expensive. Now if you have a router with a USB port, then you can attach an external hard drive to it. In fact, I have a video on how to do that. But this cannot be the case with everyone, so let's skip it too. Next, I think about hosting a VPN or FTP server on my computer. Now, personally, I would love to do that, but it won't be an ideal solution for less tech-savvy people, as it would become quite technical with forwarding ports and all. So, let's skip it too. And finally, came the companies which will take care of all the geeky stuff like Unity, Log Me In, Go to My PC, and Push Pull It, etc. But these all services are paid and not just one-time fees, but monthly subscription model. Overall, this led me wondering. This is a pretty common problem. But then, how come there is no easy way to do it? And well, guess what? There is an extremely simple way to do that, where you don't have to spend a single penny, and the setup is also simple. In fact, you might already be using it. It's just that nobody is talking about it. So let's check it out. So here is how it done. Open up your computer, whose files you will like to access remotely. Then go to your browser and download TeamViewer. Yes, the popular screen sharing software. It is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and all the other operating system. And chances are you might already have it on your computer. If not, then you should use it. Now, once downloaded, install the software. Now, usually we stop here, but to get the file sharing feature, you need to go one step further and create a free account. Remember, TeamViewer is completely free for personal use. You have to pay only if you are using it for commercial purposes. Now, once you have created your account, verify the email. It's important, and then go to the desktop app and log into your account. Next, you need to do two things. First, add your computer. Click on the profile icon and then select Add this computer. And second, add unrestricted access. This way, you don't have to enter the username and password each time you want to log in. And that's it. The desktop setup is complete. Now let's try to access it from other device. For this instance, I'm using this Android phone, but you can use any other operating system. Now to make sure I'm not using the LAN method, I will switch on to mobile data. By the way, if both the devices are on the same network, then you don't need any software. I have a videos for both Windows and Mac, so if you guys are interested, click on the links in the description or YouTube cards. Okay, now coming back. So once your device is connected to the internet, download the TeamViewer application from the Play Store, and then open it. Go to the files, and then sign it with your username and password. Now, if you don't see this login option, then you might have not verified your email account or not enable the unattended access. Now, once you log in, you will see all the list of devices in which the TeamViewer is running. So I will tap on this one, and there we go. Now I have the read-only access to entire hard drive, which means I can copy stuff from my computer, but cannot delete anything. Now say I want to copy this file, so simply tap on the check mark next to it and go to local hard drive, and then copy it here. Now the downloading speed will depends on uploading speed of home internet connection. 
and to see the content you will have to use the third party file manager team viewer cannot do that and there we go we have successfully downloaded the file from the remote computer overall now that i have told you it might look quite obvious but trust me there are people who are spending money on paid services when they can easily do it for free and another way to look at it will be there are companies whose entire business model is based on a product which can easily be done with free services so that's quite interesting so yeah if i have saved you some cash then give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment on what do you think and yes i'm always looking for a simple ways to do complex stuff so if you guys are into that then subscribe to this channel so that's it for now this is minal signing off and like always thanks for watching